wrappers on, they provide the spaces and the four new bolts. That was easy, that was only a two minute job and it looks great. It's only got score lines where they've actually bent it, but apart from that, it's all one piece molded. Two Allen key bolts at the front with the spaces that they provide you with. A bit of Loctite. That was easy peasy Japanese. So that was good. Let's see, this side doesn't cover um, the water pump as much as the BB does. But we will see. We will see, said the blind man. All right. Another job done. Look after me, you boys. I love you, boys. <laughs> Hermes got a new pair of shoes and heavy uh, medium duty tubes because we've had that big discussion about tubes. Balanced and uh, rim lock. So just rim lock on the back. Yes. Yeah, I don't need one. I've never yes. needed one on the front. And, and my sprockets that I got from um, MX Store, no, they're not good for a CRF 300L. No. Correct. So Pete sourced me some um, bolts to make it fit. So now I've got a 42 on the back, 14 on the front, and my gold bling bling chain. <laughs> I love these chains because they don't stretch. No, Jack ship. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Good luck with your adventure. <laughs> and your adventure. Now to see someone truly special who's going to fix up my salt bun bones. <laughs> Pete the Seat Wizard. He's doing three for Fink races right now, and he's gonna do mine. He's Let the customizations begin. Yeehaw! And fit this little sucker too. He's the man. Yeehaw! Hello! <laughs> Here's the boys who are going to save my bum bones. <laughs> Yay! The master at work. What did you just do? So I'm going low, and there's you made high. Made them higher, just so they got a bit of comfort for the Fink Desert Road. So they're not short bastards, eh? <laughs> wow, they look great, eh? Oh, good grip. Skinny. Very uncomfortable looking, but I wouldn't suspect they'd spend much time sitting down. <laughs> Ooh, how exciting. Not at the Fink, anyway. Not at the Fink. So you're going, aren't you? Yeah. Yay! 45 k's out with your uh, tribe. No, I think we're going to the fuel stop with the other Kangaroo boys. Give them a hand. Yeah, wicked. And and who are you backing? Who's racing there? Uh, just a couple of mates. Just On... Um, Quads. No, no, two wheelers. Two Young wheelers. Call the J and J crew from Kalgoorlie. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Go the J and J crew from Kalgoorlie. Do us proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wicked. That looks a bit exciting. <laughs> Yay! Should be for the price, doll. Nice seat. 
550 bucks. Fits on really Deluxe. Well oh, that looks so much wider for my ass. Yay! Oh, you're deluxe, darling. It's good, eh? Thank you. It's good seat. <laughs> well, no, let's see if they really, perform really well. like everyone raves about them. Yay! So before I do any more of that, I might see how that fits over. Yeah, that's perfect. Wicked. Wicked. And I'll trim that once it's on the bike, I'll trim it up. And then I'll get you to sew some straps underneath to secure Ooh. it so it doesn't move when I sit on it. Oh my God. <laughs> my saddle's gonna be so comfy. <laughs> So that took about an inch off the height. Might not need my Kuba link after all. All right, let's go fit her Mrs. saddle. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Thanks, Pete. Carry on. Big sand sack of goodies. Let's play. Let's play, Hermes. I'll put this bracket on because it's got the cushioning pads, but I ground down the loops, so I've still got a bit of a, a seat for it to sit in that section there. But when I screw it up, the plastic goes tight, so I'm just using a washer with a little fitting, and I'm just going to fit it into there. I've got to put the washer in yet, just to still give me the gap between the plastic and the frame where that will just seat in, but it won't be bolted in. I know that's where it seats and that'll stop any backwards and forwards movement as well so that has worked out exactly how I'd love it to right so for now these rock straps are too long this one here I'll get it shortened so it ends up clipping over like that so I'll just attach it to the frame comes up to here the other side connects and clips over but for now I'll just double this back over I'm a solo rider. <laughs> Next up, new Zeta lever. That one's had better days. <laughs> remember where it was I knew these two lines here lined up with that gap and that should be right if not I'll just adjust it or pull it out move it up a tooth up or down a bit depending on the boot that felt pretty good but I'll check it again and if not it's easy to adjust now because the bolts underneath sprocket cover back on and we're done Zeta foot pegs so I've had the aftermarket ones I've had the cheap shit Chinese ones, the expensive Chinese ones, and our third time lucky I went to Zeta and they're the only ones that have gone the distance. <laughs> People drop theirs as much as I drop mine so just a split pin at the back here remove that the pin comes out and then easy peasy slots back in again a little bit of jiggling around one or two cuss words and a tap and just make sure that that is located back in there and before you put your washer on there just double check that it works so now just the washer back on and the split pin and we're done.
great lever. Not sure if I'm going to use the snake, we'll see. But yeah, just the spring by the looks of it. The circle up at the back and spring at the back here. And that's it. And there's this little baby looking at the back here. And then that little thing there comes out. Beauty. This pin fits beautifully, fits beautifully, fits beautifully, but I have to move that a little bit to get that into position so it's angled out a tiny bit and trying to get the pin back in it will only go to there and then it just seems that, that misalignment is stopping it you can see there it's like misaligned it's not smooth going and i've tapped it in and it's stiff as was hell getting it back out so i don't know if this has had a whack at one stage here and that's out of alignment there i don't know it's better so I've straighten that bracket out and now that lines up beautifully all right Let's see if that pin goes back in now nice and smooth and spot on spot on that's heaps better Beautiful. Yeehaw, carry on. And I had to adjust that a fair way up to get the brake light to work. Now she's working. Beautiful. I learnt the hard way the first time on my Chinesium one and they fell out and I went to press the brake and my pedal was missing. <laughs> Not a good look. So, a bit of lock tight on those. Beautiful. Now to put the snake on. So that's already got a hole through there. I reckon I'll put it through there. That'll be nice and neat. That's all on. And you can just a funny movement up and down on there, but that's not going anywhere. All right, what next? One more thing, <laughs> radiator guard, and then I've got to go get something to eat. So just undo one bolt, and that plastic one just clips out. Well, that was the easiest thing to do ever. So that just locates in there, locates in there, locates in there, and then the bearing bolt back in. That's it. And that feels really quite solid, and it was light as. Oh, you could. All right, that's enough for tonight. I'm starving. <laughs> Gotta eat. Yay. All right, boy. Coming together. Yeehaw. So all I've done is move it there. Got that off Jake the snake, so had to use a longer bolt. Didn't have much choice here in the workshop. Had to pack it out with three washers. That'll do for now until I go to a bolt shop and get a nice one. And my tank bag. Didn't want to keep doing the strap around from underneath here, so I cut the straps off and uh, just use bolts and a washer because there's a bit of a bend in the, the plastic. So I just peened over the um, washers so it sits in that groove perfectly now. And that is all good too. That ain't going anywhere. Yeehaw. But I'll get some sort of wing nut or something on this so I can do a quick release thing if I need to. What else? Well, if you know anything about the Kalgoorlie red dust, it turns to baby poo, slippery baby poo. So nothing else left to do. 
I play on her mares. <laughs> Carry on. I think I'll start with that first. bolt once that's out you slide it and that comes undone so then I got one two three and four or five bolts to come off and the exhaust is off the sensor there's a spot on the new exhaust for it to go back in cool carry on Mate, you should weigh this. It's huge. It's a heavy little conker. I'm actually going to weigh that. This one just slid straight in, line it up, and I'm assuming the springs keep it together. A little bit of lock tight. Come straight back in, spring, one bolt, spring, one bolt, end result, look at that, so pretty. ABS fuse was the sixth one down, so I just pulled it out, chucked it into the spare. I expected that to be heats louder, so just going to pull this out. It's just a little eight mil nut, and this should come out. The joys of working in a workshop with tools. <laughs> Tougher than I expected. Tools, multi grips. That'll work. Let's fire her up her again. <laughs> yeah. All right, see what noise that makes. All right, Hermes. Let's hope you sound like a boy now with some balls. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's heaps better.
yay. <laughs> and my ABS is sorted as well. <laughs> Kids, don't do this at home. <laughs> Put it in the spare parts bag. <laughs> in you go. Back to the new parts spare bag. <laughs> because that's definitely going to get hot so I need a heat shield for that but I didn't buy one because I wanted to see first so this came off the other exhaust so that bolt that goes through there actually fits onto that so like yay and if I can just find around this scrapyard heat another one like that then I reckon sounds freaking awesome then I might be, I, know, I know it hides a fantastic <laughs> Look at the little bomb, but don't want to burn my leg. So I'll try that. File the slots out a bit bigger to put a bigger clamp on it. That's that side done. So that's going to fit really not quite nicely. But because of the bomb part, this part's got to sit further out. And the gap that I need in there, I don't reckon if I, even if I grind that off and put some slots in it, that's not going to be deep enough, so I've got to keep looking around the workshop, find something and fabricate my own, I reckon. Yeehaw. Where am I going to find a piece of flat steel around here? <laughs> Let's go shopping. workshop. Nothing worse than blunt drill heads. Let's go hunting. Look at that! My bike's not here. I know. <laughs> I'm forever doing things with washing it. Oh, I love it. It's half the fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw! I'm going to get myself some yellow fever. <laughs> yeah, wicked. So thanks, Les. And he did a special pick for me as well. Look, Roz. Hey? How good's that? Oh, Mine Lab 2300. Look out. Uh, and I can pack it on the back of my bike. Yay! We're going gold hunting. <laughs> Next up, get rid of all of this <laughs> with a tail tidy. All right, let's get to work. Yeehaw. So proud of that. <laughs> okay, so it's just one, two, three bolts and a plug. 
one, two, three bolts and the plugs up there. When I take this off to wrap that, I'll um, seal that properly. And then just one, two, three bolts in and plate back on and it's done. And that's it, done. That big lumpy bumpy thing's gone. So just three bolts and then the two license plate bolts with lock nuts. Yeehaw. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's looking heaps better. I like a smaller plate though. All right, what's next? And I'm just temporarily fitting this so my trimmer can make more of a snug fit with the custom straps underneath so it ain't gonna move. So I'm just pinning, clipping wherever I need to go and he'll smoothen it all out and pull it underneath. I don't want it the full length, I only want it under. I mean, my butt sort of sits right there didn't want the whole thing because by the time I do the top bag and everything else, whatever. Just one little shorty one. So happy. So happy. Coming together. Alright, connect the attachment for my slime compressor. Updated and I've got to find the auxiliary plug behind here to connect my PowerTech dual USB port with the voltmeter. Brilliant one, this one. Cool. Carry on. I don't like electrical. Don't like it. <laughs> okay, I'm just adapting my slime compressor for quick release. So I'm going to cut that off and wire it to this because I like the SAE plugs. Very simple, easy to use. And then Plug that on to protect it. Just trying to do this one-handed for the video. <laughs> and then that just tucks like that. It's zip tied. I've run it through all the cable latches up to the battery, negative to negative, positive to positive, fuse breaker in the way. So when I get on the trails, I just plug this straight into there and bang, away you go. Bob's your uncle. This method, keep it simple, stupid.